You it is good yo, it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're gonna be doing a gameplay of new rookie Chet Holgram from Gonzaga 7 feet tall 195 pounds now, before we dive into the stats, badges, animations, guys, I got him for 500k. Now, that is overpaying, guys. You guys will not have to probably spend that much MT on him, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do for you guys. Sometimes I got to overplay on players, and that is a okay. 96 three ball, 90 standing driving deck, 95 ball, 99 block, 95 steel perimeter, 98 interior rebounding wise, perfect, 95 speed, 96 lateral quit. It's basically the stats of an invincible card. Just throwing that out there. 100 tendencies all across the board. 45 Hall of Fame badges. You guys can see all of them. 34 on gold. Now, most of his Hall of Fame badges are the important ones. I mean, like if you look at the gold ones, you're looking at, you know, badges like Set Shooter, Dream Shake, Bailout, Rhythm Shooter, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch. Badges that really don't matter. Whereas the Hall of Fame badges, if you do, you know, want to go and look at it, they're like Quick First Step, Handles for Day, Chef, Limitless. So, out of Chet Holgram's badges, I would say most of them important ones are at least on Hall of Fame. Look at it, Chet Holgram here in shoot around. Movement wise for a seven footer is ridiculously good. Most seven footers don't move that well. And I'm not saying he's going to just move ridiculously well all, you know, 24 7. But I'm just saying, like, Hey, he's moving pretty well as far as his release he is so knocked down i had to go and look up his release because i wasn't sure exactly what he had it's jump shot 110 now what is jump shot 110 i would say this it reminds me of what jump shot 38 used to be i mean maybe i'm wrong by saying that but that's what it is to me now is it easy to green i don't necessarily know if i can even say that but it does remind me of what jump shot 38 used to be now jump shot 38 used to be uh, at least in like 2k 20 really good now it's just a little bit slow this release is definitely not slow can be a little bit hard to time though as far as his fade goes i'm trying to see does he got the step fade is that what they gave him yeah they gave chet the the step fade now is the step fade good i mean yeah on chet holgram i don't know i gotta get used to it and see you know if if chet can you know just drift his way to greatness because if he can just knock down that step fade consistently i mean what more is there needed to be said if he can if he can just sit there and knock that down consistently now as far as his dunk package guys looks pretty solid there's no real concern there so movement wise good release wise i'm oh I'm, I'm decently impressed with the speed of it i gotta you know start greening it more but in general he looking pretty tough looking at chet holgram here on current gen movement wise again for a guy his size is absolutely ridiculous now release wise again hey, on, on current gen man she's gonna be really good i'm just throwing it out there man his release on current gen it's like a mix of the Derrick Rose base and base 38 is, is as good as I can really say. But, I mean, it is easy to time and easy to green. Especially, it's, I think it's better on current gen, no doubt. you got to just be ready to let go of it, though. Because if you're not, you're going to shoot a slightly later, even a late, every single time. It is easy to knock down, though, in that catch-and-shoot situation. As far as everything else is concerned, I mean, Steph Fade, what is there to really talk about? Dude's got the Steph fade. I mean, he got the Steph fade at seven feet tall. What is there to talk about for Chet Holger? We're going to hop right into a My Team Unlimited game with Mr. Chet at that power forward position, who I think is going to be an absolute cheese ball. Win the tip, and then we go. Uh, yes, sir. Why am I passing the ball back? Let's go to work, Chet. Oh, yeah. Just get Will off of me, and you know what, you know what it is. You know what time it is. Oh my gosh. Chill, chill, chill. Into the big fella. Oh my gosh. He just got so much size out here. I'm annoyed, bro. You got so much size. Thank you. Come on. Get the ball to chat. Run. Oh yeah, chat. Oh yeah, chat. What in the layup package was that? At least you converted, my boy. Not let me do nothing with chat, which is fine. Watch this. That's fine. Keep doing that. I'm going to be unselfish. I'll take 20 assists with Chet. I really don't care. If that's what it takes to, to show you up and, and just to prove my point, I'll do it, bro. I don't care, man. Great defense. Oh, 
That is horrible. That is bad. It's about as bad as it gets. Oh yeah, and the taco again. I'm not gonna be selfish. Uh, I guess, bro. Come here. I'm annoyed, man. He just sending taco and, and will at me just all the time. Thank you. Cookie! Um, um, um. It's not so fun when it's yourself, is it? It's not so fun when it's yourself, is it? I'm pulling on the brake after I get my heart harder and steel with the man. And yeah, it's not so much fun now, is it? Stupid. Nice pass, Bubba. Nice pass. That was a great pass you just threw in. Look at Chet. He on triple double watch already. Oh, I thought that was your block, baby. Ooh, he went right by Will. Who is Will Chamberlain? My man went right by him with a smooth behind the back. And yup, we'll head right to that free throw line. Look at the D. Look at the D. Look at the D by Chet. I love it. Look at the D. E2, E2. Yo, Granger just got us. I should have pump faked, but should not have been able to get a stop on you right there. Golly gee, man. That's not mismatch. Uh-oh. Knock down. Knock down. You're giving me fools. And he pausing me. Bro, and y'all let him get a board on that. I was about to pause him, and I'm still gonna pause him. You wanna pause me when I get a full? Yeah. Get a taste of your own medicine, Bubba. Oh my gosh. It's a dot. Yup, knock down. Knock down. Yup, uh oh. You lost the man with a plan with his smoothest release. He just cheesed me. Uh oh. It's a dot. Why are you running into the paint? Uh-oh. You're trying to switch everything so you can guard Chet. Just play straight up normal defense. I mean, it, it's not a hard concept. Look at him on ball. He reaching on ball. He reaching on ball. What you doing? What you doing against him? He reaching on ball. You don't want the chat work. He couldn't even move. Easy one. Again, you're way you're, you're coming up way too high. Good defense. Good enough defense. Yup, good enough D. Oh, go behind your back. That's what I wanted, baby. Yo. Yeah, you don't want you don't want to go when Chet's lurking, man. Hey! Nope. It's fine. It's free. Fine, it's free. Back to him. Bro, I am so annoyed right now. Win the tip. Green a shot with Chet. And, and let him know, bro. Nah, no way. No way I got a full, bro. No way I just got a full, bro. Trying to get the dude going. I'm trying to get the dude going, bro. Trying to get the dude going. Finally, I got an opening, and y'all know what he does with that, man. Everywhere Chet went, 
Taco, and Wilt went with him. 13 points, 5 assists, 2 rebounds, 2 steals. I can't sit here and say the car was that great. But it's not a case of he was horrible. It's just a case of the attention. Ultimately, guys, do I think Chet Holgram is worth his price? I, I, I don't necessarily know. It's hard for me to say. The power forward position is stacked. Player model-wise, defensively, he's not as good as Kareem. And, and, and that's all I can really say. He's not as good as Invincible Kareem. And honestly, I, I don't know how good Chet Holgram really is. I like him because of his release. I like him because he can do a lot with the ball. The power forward position right now is stacked. I mean, honestly, I compare Chet Holgram closer to this card than anybody else in my team. Now, I do think I'd lean Chet when it comes to Chet versus Bobo just because Chet, I feel like, does more with the ball. But Bobo is going to be longer and, and have that better player model. At the power forward position, guys, at this stage of my team, it really is preference. For me, do I prefer Chet to Kareem? No. Do I prefer him to D-Rob? That's a question I'm not quite sure about at this moment. For me, though, Chet for sure is a top five power forward in the game, and I'll leave it at that. It's going to wrap it up for my video today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.